Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. After you've spent a little bit of time with QuickBooks Online, you're likely to discover an account called Undeposited Funds. Undeposited Funds is a special account built into QuickBooks Online that operates differently from your income account, your expense accounts, your checkbook register. So I just want to show you where you can find the list of things that are in Undeposited Funds, and then also talk to you about why you should go there rather than somewhere else. So we'll start with finding the list. You'll just want to click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. On the right hand side, under the header of other, select the word bank deposit. When this opens, you'll get a list of the undeposited funds transactions that are open pending that you need to deal with basically. So I have two of them, they total 1301. That's the answer to the question, where do I find my list? Now I want to go on to the question of why do I go there as opposed to some other place that I can find it? I'll show you. Let's start with the chart of accounts. If I search for undeposited funds, and you'll find me searching more than you'll find me scrolling because it's just faster, I can see undeposited funds, I can see 1301. So I'm feeling like I've hit the jackpot. I'm going to click on view register. When I click on view register, I have more than the two things that are unresolved. I have a lot of things. Now I know you can see at a glance there's two things without a reconcile. Pretend like you can't see that. Pretend like your business has been in business for a while and this goes on for hundreds of lines. Seeing this list and trying to identify what doesn't have an R, it's totally doable. Just feels like a waste of your time when you could quickly get the list right here. This by the way is where you need to go to deal with the stuff that's in undeposited funds. Let me show you one more place that people tend to look. They tend to go to their balance sheet and then click on the number. So I'm going to go to the balance sheet. I'm going to click on this undeposited funds 1301. And to make my example interesting, I'll, I'll expand the date range when it opens. So my balance sheet report, it was, if I scroll up, for the month of July. So when I clicked on it, I'm only getting data for the month of July. Let's say I just look at January through July. Now I can see all these things. I can, if I want, carefully go through and try to match and see what is in here and what's left over and what's going on. Um, oh, my beginning balance is 1101. Let's go 1123. Um, okay, so 2023 is where my 1101 came from. But you, imagine this list was longer. Imagine you've been in business for a while and it's not a sample file and, and you've got hundreds of transactions. Trying to pick your way through this list to see why do you have a balance on undeposited funds? Huge waste of your time. So hopefully this video is helpful. I'm going to make a couple videos about undeposited funds. If you have questions, if you feel like there's something you're just not getting, let me know. I really want to know what people don't know. I'm so used to it that I forget what it's like to learn undeposited funds for the first time. So tell me anything you want me to make a video on. I'm happy to do it. All right. Thanks. Bye.